right. Now, unfortunately, you have to zoom in to each area. So, astronomy. No quests. And I keep forgetting not to. See, why does the fast travel work uh, with, you know, simple A there? Uh, all right, so we know there's no quest in any quest givers in here. We have our first beasts class. Grand staircase. We have uh, the wide witch passage. <sighs> Again, I. Ugh. Reopen the map. Alright. Alright, we had like, two things interesting here. Mysterious room. Oh, yeah, we already seen that. And divination class during the day. See right there, X then is the button you press to teleport there. But for some reason, it also responds with A. But uh, when in Hogwarts, but it doesn't respond with A uh, outside of Hogwarts. Normally there's a, there's a prompt that allows me to wait rather than having to use the menu. This is one of the things I do like in, uh, that the game does is like your character is actually not always in the forefront of cutscenes like the cutscenes of the class you're more often um, in the background or trying to exit there we go This guy wants to talk to us because we've been collecting his statues. I imagine he's in Hogsmeade. See, like right there. A is to set a waypoint, not the fast travel, but in Hogwarts Castle, it responds to A as well. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? And maybe we have been earning coin. 
Okay, no, no, we, we, we haven't been there that much. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired to play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Okay, right there. Right there I needed to press X to fast travel. <laughs> so I don't I have no idea why in some cases it's A and in some cases it's X. It's it's completely annoying. Mr Moon, I've learned who's behind the demi guy statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend. <sighs> Rebellion.
Death Star. Alright, so Spider and 5 and something equals 13. A spider is 8, 5. Oh, okay, I know what that is. It's a guys. And 3 plus A eh equals A. Uh, eh. Alright, well, that thing is 2, so that's 5. So we need 9. So, so it's a demiguys and then nine headed hydra. Uh, where is. Oh, there it is. There we go. Let's see if there's anywhere else. Let's start with the south wing. Nope. Secret rooms. No. Library annex. We got a quest giver. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that's Professor Nani. We need to return to Professor Nani. We can worry about that later. The Great Hall. Uh huh. And Staircase. Uh huh. Bell Tower Wing. Uh huh. Surprised she was not in the classroom after the class, but maybe. My young friend. Maybe she'll be there this time. Since all the NPCs will be relatively gone. Hmm. <laughs> One second, folks. Sorry about that, folks. My dog was tormenting my map. Um, okay, I don't know why the professor is not appearing where she should be. Oh, there we go. She's now appearing. What do we have here? I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Ronan. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking. And I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills. And you do not seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. 
channel your magic towards your target. Now, why not practice the new spell on the train you're... 